hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial we are going to learn how to design a short flyer using photoshop so let's get started here i'm going to use 4 by 4 inches then the resolution should be at 300 and you great so this is our working background here are the resources i'm going to use in this tutorial then drag this image into the photoshop scale it out this way then okay go to your blur gunsham blur then input this number then you click ok so then bring this one again scale it out then you drag it down okay now reduce the opacity then apply layer mask go to your gradient tools then you blend over here then i'm going to bring this brush then you drag it down scale it out leave it this way then go back to bring this brush then you rotate it position it over here take it up this way okay then apply a drop shadow you will see the shadow there then apply it okay so the next thing again I'm going to bring this paper then you scale it out so you can see the paper texture there now go to your blending mode then apply multiply then zoom in so you can see how the texture apply on it so here are the fonts and the text i'm going to use so ctrl c to copy then ctrl v to paste change the font color to white then make it bold apply drop shadow then 6 and 10 all right select this one and group it make it your background Then duplicate it, Ctrl J. Then go to your test and copy again. 
Ctrl V to paste. Reduce the size. Then change the font color to yellow. Apply character spacing. Control A. Then you apply vertical alignment. Then Control D to deselect. Come back again to copy. This time I'm going to use this test effect. Now drag it over here to make a copy of it. Double click on that smart object. Then I'm going to change the font to unisans then control v to paste the cop the one i copy then control s to save it now you can see it then i will turn off the background then go to export to export it, now change it from JPEG to PNG, then you export it, but I'm not going to export it because I have it already, so I'm going to import the one I have. So here it is. So position it this way. All right, then I'm going to copy this test again. Select your test tool, then Control V to paste. Then change the font color to yellow. And I'm going to change the font here. to England signature then position it this way Rearrange this brush. So, okay, like this. Then I will arrange all the text. Then drag this one up by using your arrow key. 
reduce it then also use your arrow key then to move it up now we have created a little more space So come back to copy your test, Ctrl V to paste, then reduce the font, then apply the character spacing, then Ctrl A, apply vertical alignment and Ctrl D to deselect. Then close the character spacing. Then you copy this text over here. Control V to paste. Reduce the font size. Apply vertical alignment and Control D to deselect. I'm going to change the font to Unisan. Select your test and Ctrl V to paste. It's okay like this. Then you expand it. All right. So the next one again, come over to copy this test. Then select your test tool, change the color to black. Then change the font to railway. Then Ctrl V to paste. You reduce the font size. Ctrl A, apply vertical alignment and Ctrl D to deselect. Arrange your test by grouping them. All right, now I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl J, then copy this test here, then you paste it, then bring this WhatsApp logo. You 
position it over there. It's okay. So come over here to copy. Scale it out. It's okay like this. Then duplicate it, Ctrl J. Then you type June. Then drag it up. Use your arrow key to bring it down. Then position it well. Then you type again, you drag it over here and you rotate it this way, then you bring it over here, align it together. So this is what you have. Now, drag this light flare. Apply screen. Your layer mask, then you blend over here. All right. Now drag it into the background, then you select the light layer, apply Gaussian blur, then you drag it over here, The light is too much, reduce the opacity. Then you duplicate it, move it over here. Duplicate it again. Then you drag it over here. I will still remove or uh, I mean reduce the opacity. Now I'm going to reduce the size. Take it up over here. It's okay like this. So I will do the same thing to the remaining two. Then do the same thing to this one. And drag it to the back. 
it's okay i don't want the light to show much so that is it thank you very much for watching remember to subscribe like and share so let me know under the comment section the area you need to understand